welcome to another episode of Yoga Ira. I'm Ira Trivedi. Today I'm going to teach you how to defy gravity by doing the headstand or the shears asan, also known as a king of all asanas. It may look difficult, but it's actually very, very simple. It's just a matter of technique. And I'm going to give you a five point technique to quickly get up and stand up on your head. Because if you can stand on your feet, then you can stand on your head. Let's now do the headstand together. For a few in child's pose to bring your blood pressure down. And now come up, creating a base with your arms, your elbows in line with your shoulders. Now create a tripod and bring your head in between the tripod and slowly walk your legs towards your head. And now jump and come up. This is the half headstand or the egg. With a breath, now slowly bring your legs up and stay here and balance. And now you can move your legs back and forth. Or to the sides. You can do different variations if you feel comfortable in this asana. Now bring your legs together and slowly come down. Rest in child's pose for a few breaths. Are you sick and tired of going to the gym, of dieting, and of going through so much stress because you weigh too much or have a big belly? Well, now yoga can help you cure those problems. I'm going to give you two 10-minute routines to help combat both weight loss and tummy fat. I suggest that you do these 10-minute routines either separately or together. But if it's convenient to you, then you can pick and choose the asanas or the breathing exercises that are convenient for you and do them at your own time. Let's first begin with yoga for six pack abs. Crunches, planks, they've all become oh so boring. But now yoga can help you get really toned abs. And at the same time, it's very effective for all the internal organs of your abdomen. People don't normally think that yoga can help you get very toned, very fit, but that's an absolute myth. It can, and I'm an example of just that. The first part of our routine is Kapal Bhati. While Kapal Bhati may look like a very simple exercise, it's actually very effective. In fact, one Kapal Bhati is equal to one crunch. So instead of doing 100 crunches, you should just do 100 Kapal Bhatis. So that is five rounds of Kapal Bhati with 20 each. The technique of Kapal Bhati is particular, so please follow along with me to see how to do this exercise correctly. Sit in a comfortable meditation posture. The head and spine should be straight with the hands resting on the knees in Chin Mudra. Close the eyes and relax the whole body. Now exhale through both nostrils with a forceful contraction of the abdomen muscles. The inhalation should be passive, involving no effort by allowing the abdominal muscles to relax. After completing 10 rapid breaths, inhale and exhale deeply, allowing the breath to return to normal. This is one round. Practice up to five rounds with 20 pumpings. Now we move on to the Chakki Chalan Asan. This is a really good warm up for the asans that we're going to be doing. It stimulates your ab and it warms up all your muscles to really help gear up our bodies for the asans ahead. Sit with your legs in front of you, clasp your hands and stretch the arms at shoulder height. Now take a deep breath and start moving your upper body to the front and right, forming an imaginary circle with your body. Inhale as you go forward and exhale as you go back. 
Keep breathing deeply and easily while rotating. Make five to 10 rounds in one direction and then repeat in the opposite side. Do not practice this asana if you're pregnant, have low BP or extreme lower back pain. Now for the Janu Shirsha Asana, a beautiful asana to really stretch our entire abdomens and it also is a great massage for the abdominal organs like the spleen, the liver and the pancreas. So get into this asana, stretch out your abs and massage all your organs. Sit with the legs stretched and the feet together. Slowly bend the right leg, placing the heel of the foot against the perineum. Now slowly come up and with a deep inhalation, come forward and down, bringing your head as close to your knee as possible. Now stay here and breathe. With each breath, try to move a little bit more forward. Now come up and bring your arms slowly down. Now bring your left leg towards the inside of your thigh. Inhale, reach up. And slowly with an exhalation, come down, placing your forehead on your knees. Stay here and breathe. Inhale, exhale. Now come up slowly, bring your arms down. Bring your legs back and breathe. The Halasana or the Plow is one of my personal favorite asanas. It's not only really good for strengthening our abs, it also helps in hormonal functioning and it's really good for the production of insulin so it helps prevent diabetes. Gently lie on your back, spine straight, bring your legs towards your hips with an inhalation, bring your legs up, support your hips with your hands, and bring your legs back over your head and try to reach the ground. If your toes reach the floor, you can release your hands and put them out in front of you. And you can stay here and breathe. Continue breathing, inhaling and exhaling, really relaxing in the asana. Remember, the benefits of yoga come when you're steady and comfortable in the asana. Now you can spread your legs apart as far as you can for additional stretch. Make sure that your toes are on the ground and your knees are as straight as possible. If your toes don't reach the ground, keep supporting your waist with your hands. Now you can bring your legs towards your ears and bringing your hands to your legs, you can grab hold of your ears. This probably reminds you of something that you did as a kid. Now release your legs, bring them back, and slowly, gently come down, bring your legs out in front of you. And now you can relax in Shav Asana, legs apart, feet apart, and breathe. The third asana, or the palm tree pose, helps stretch our abs and our spine. It helps improve our posture and really align our entire bodies in the correct way. Slowly bring your arms up towards your head, interlock your fingers and stretch your arms and slowly come up on your toes. Stretch your arms, Inhale and exhale, really feeling your entire body stretch and now slowly move to your right side, breathing to your right side, come up, move to your left side, inhaling and exhaling and slowly come back to the center, stretch your arms and release, come down.
An additional benefit of Thar asanas, like all yoga asanas, is that it's not only good for our bodies, but it's also good for our minds. So we're going to begin our 10-minute routine by doing two pranayams, the Shitkari and the Shitali pranayam. Both these pranayams are very effective in killing your hunger. So whenever you have those hunger pangs or feel like eating anything unhealthy, just do one of these pranayams instead and you'll be all set. First we start with the Shitkari pranayam. It has a very cooling effect on the body and it really helps get rid of hunger and thirst both. Sit comfortably in any meditative posture. Close the eyes and relax the whole body. Closing the teeth, inhale deeply through the mouth. And now exhale from your nose. Exposing the teeth, breathe in. And now gently exhale to the nose in a controlled manner. This is one round of Shitkari Pranayam. Shitkari helps in reducing weight and also helps relieve hunger. Practitioners with sensitive teeth should not practice this pranayam. The meaning of Shital in Sanskrit is calm and this pranayam has a calming and soothing effect on the entire body and it helps purify the blood and on top of that it helps with digestion and also helps in reducing hunger and thirst. Sit in a meditation posture and relax the whole body. Now extend the tongue outside the mouth as far as possible without strain. Roll the sides of the tongue up so that they form a tube. Inhale through the tongue and at the end of the inhalation draw the tongue in, close the mouth and exhale through the nose. Practice yogic breathing throughout this pranayam. The breath should produce a sucking sound and a feeling of icy coldness will be experienced on the tongue and the roof of the mouth. This is one round. This pranayam cools the body and affects important brain centers associated with biological drives and temperature regulation. It gives control over hunger and thirst. We've all heard of the Surya Namaskars, but have you heard of the Chandra Namaskars? The Chandra Namaskars are equally powerful as the Surya Namaskars, and in fact, they give you an extra little workout. Just like always, the Chandra Namaskars are performed with coordinating the breath and each of the 14 postures of the Chandra Namaskar relates to each phase of the lunar cycle. Inhale, exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and back, arch your back. Exhale, slowly come down, knees to your forehead, arms on your side. Inhale, stretch up, chin up. Continue inhaling, bring your arms up, stretch back, really arch that back. Now come down, exhale, mountain pose. Retain your breath and Ashtanga Namaskar, chin down, knees down, hips up. Inhale, Cobra pose or Pujang Asan. Exhale, downward dog or mountain pose. Now with an inhalation, bring your left foot forward, stretch up, continue inhaling, arms up and back, really arch that back. Exhale, come down, bring your right foot forward, forehead to your knees. Inhale, arms up, arch back and slowly come down. Now for the other leg, inhale, exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and back, slowly arch your back. Exhale, come down, forehead to your knees, hands by your side. Inhale, leg back, stretch your chin up and arch. 
Exhale, mountain pose or downward dog. And now slowly come down, retaining the breath in Ashtanga Namaskar. Come up, inhale, Bhujangasana or Cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Now slowly inhale, bring your right foot forward. Chin up, continue inhaling, bring your arms up and arch back. Now come down, forehead to your knees, hands by your side. Inhale, come up, stretch back, really arch that back. And now exhale, come down and relax. Chanda Namaskar really helps give your entire body a beautiful stretch. Really warming up almost every single part of our body. To help begin our asan practice and to gain the maximum benefits. The Veerbhadra Asan, or the Warrior, is an excellent asan for weight loss. You should stay in this posture for two minutes and extend up to even five minutes if you can. It really helps strengthen your entire body. And in addition, it's an excellent stretch for the calves and the legs. Place your legs a few feet apart in one line. Bring your hands to prayer position and bring them up, stretch up and come down on your knee, forming a 90 degree angle with your leg. Slowly stretch up and breathe. Now twist your body to the left, twist your leg, bring your arms out to the side, stay here and breathe. Now come back, and now we'll do the same on the other leg. Place your legs a few feet apart in one line. Now bring your left leg forward, right leg back, hands in prayer position, arms up and body down, form a nine degree angle with your leg. Slowly stretch your arms up, stretch, inhale, exhale. Now twisting your body, your arms out on your side. Stay here and breathe, come back. Bring your legs together and relax. The downward dog is one of yoga's most popular asanas, but also one of the most effective. It gives a 360 degree stretch to your whole body and is especially effective in strengthening and toning your abdomen. Coming up on your arms, really stretch those arms and those calves. Try to bring your heels to the ground or as close as possible to the ground. Stay here and stretch, really breathing. You can move up and down on your toes for additional stretch. And now you can bring your right leg up and stretch. This is three leg dog. And now you can bring your left leg up and stretch. This is three leg dog on the other side. Bring your leg down, back to downward dog. Stay here and breathe, feeling the strain in your abdomen. Now come down in Vajrasan. And child's pose. Stay here and breathe, bringing your arms to the back. Now relax. Thank you so much for joining me on Yoga Ija. Get fit, stay healthy, and be happy. Join the Yoga Lucian. Do you want to get glowing skin and beautiful, luscious hair? Well, now yoga can help you do that in just 10 minutes. Join me next week to see how. Yeah.